Um, sucks that you have to get out of the worst experience of your life and you have to jump on social media because people are in such a rush to post lies. But I guess it's just how it is today. Um, and honestly, I can't blame them. Uh, I want to, you want to be mad at them, but they're just being told the wrong information. And that's just how it is today is the first person to report it gets the views. So instead of waiting to get the truth, they just post whatever they hear. And uh, and honestly, they could have made it worse. They could have made more lies. They could have bashed me, and 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 they didn't. So somewhere in there, I, I guess I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, when I said I wanted to experience all of Dubai, I didn't mean the jail system. That's for sure. Um, so what happened uh, is I was driving in traffic. It's very slow, maybe twenty miles under the speed limit. Um, I went to change lanes and there was a, the couriers here, they drive crazy. Um, they drive in throughout the cars, anyone here can tell you. And um, one was going through, other cars behind me. So when I went to change lanes, uh, he wasn't there. And he came up through in between the cars um, and he slightly hit the side of my car. He fell off his bike into the street um, and that would have been it. Uh, maybe it would have been some damage on his bike, but that's all it would have been. Unfortunately, while he was in the street, another truck ran him over. It's, it's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen anyone lifeless. His, his body rolling under the car uh, has messed me up big time. And uh, so I immediately jumped out into the street. It's like one of the busiest, if not the busiest street here in Dubai. Uh, even almost getting hit by cars myself, but I wanted to rush to the body um, to try and help him. Um, and the ambulance came and they actually said that he was okay. He just had a broken leg um, and they were gonna take him to the hospital. Uh, luckily there was three witnesses there one was even a woman on a motorcycle who was riding next to him and that's how we even know that he was driving illegally through the cars uh, and thankfully they were there to see the whole thing to tell the cops so they put me not at fault uh, and we, we, we waited after probably three hours at the scene taking pictures and going through all the statements and everything and then they send me home it must have been later that night or the next day he died at the hospital. I don't know from what, maybe internal bleeding. Um, I honestly have no clue. So the p policy here in Dubai is, is if someone dies, they have to thoroughly go through um, everything, which is actually great. It's, it's, it's a great policy to have because every life is precious and you should make sure that you did the right investigations. The only problem is, is in, a, in the States, you would just wait at home while they were going through that and then you have a court case. Here in Dubai, there is no, there's no getting bailed out. There's no bail bondsman. There's not anything like that. You just have to go to the jail and you wait there until your case is presented to the judge. And then you even have to go to court while you're in jail. And unfortunately, because they probably just have so many cases, the time that it takes to go through um, each case is just so backed up. So they made me not at fault. There was no charges whatsoever. I have no criminal charges at all. I don't know if the case is public yet or not, but when it is, they'll tell you that it's actually just a traffic violation. Even when I, cause I already went to court while I was in jail, met with the judge. They said that it's not a criminal case. It's just a traffic uh, violation and you have to pay some fines and stuff like that, but they just want to make sure that they're, uh, you know, dotting their I's and crossing their T's. Um, but uh, it was like, look, I'm not allowed to speak about the jail conditions, um, but I've been locked up before when I was younger uh, for fighting. Uh, one time in Alabama, which was like, so scary it was like the hills have eyes people and another time in chicago with the county jail which is the what the worst jail in the united states they have a show about it you can look it up um but this was the worst experience of my entire life as bad as it all was uh, my mind was worse uh that was the worst part not only was i going crazy wanting something to do 
Uh, you aren't allowed to even have books. You can't read. Um, you can't have anything. Uh, but also I kept struggling, going back and forth um, about being so upset uh, about being on prep and eating no protein in almost a week and mm. thinking about my competition. Then I would get so mad at myself um, for thinking about something so small mm -hmm. in vain while someone died. And I was just kind of struggling with that back and forth. Like I'm, I'm over here worrying about a competition and then the image of this person's body popping into my head. It's really messed me up. Um, my fault or not. Um, it's this person's family got a call um, back in their whatever country it is that they aren't alive anymore. Uh, it immediately makes everything uh, you ever stressed about. Just nothing. It's, it's so minuscule. Um, um, I, I can't experience what I went through. Um, if you've watched any movies like Locked Up Abroad or Broke Down Palace or any of those, it's exactly how it was. Um, but there was no... There was no drug tests, there's no blood test. They gave me a, um, I had to blow to see if I was drinking um, and that's it, that's, that's, that's all there was. All this extra stuff, that there's charges and stuff like that, it's all just made up. It's just to make a, a horrible situation seem like it's something more than it is. Um, what they do have, which I think is a great thing, um, if someone dies, um, they send money to the family of the person, um, which is a great, a great thing to have. But your insurance pays that. And I absolutely had insurance. Driving in the UAE without car insurance is a huge deal. I, would, I wouldn't be out. I, would, I wouldn't be out for a long time if I was driving without insurance. So that's all not true um now you have to fight with the insurance to pay that to them um but honestly i i, I can't even think about a competition and, and thinking about what i'm gonna do um because i'm really kind of messed up from all of this and i'm so sick i have no idea what i caught while i was in there um uh, my, my stomach is a wreck. There's, there's just so many things I can't talk about in that place, but I definitely need to go to the doctor and make sure that there's nothing serious going on with my body. I've, uh, I'm hoping it's just maybe some like bacteria or something. Um, uh, but I honestly have no clue what I would have done if I didn't have the people who helped me when I was inside. Um, I'll never forget them. They they gave me a bed and they took care of me and uh, it, it's just not something I can put into words. <laughs> so I know and I know I'm a bodybuilder and I know that's why a majority of people follow me, but I have no clue about a show. Uh, um, I need to get healthy. I need to. I, I just ate the first meal of. of protein for the first time in like a week um so i need to just kind of get back into having a regular life as, as if that's even possible and then i'll figure out what i'm going to do the circumstances of the timing it, it's it sucks but yeah honestly i can't even i can't even think about it and i don't want anyone same thing i said to my family when i called them on the phone don't feel bad for me there's just there's, there's no there's no the only victim is the person who got hit i don't know what the situation is with the person who actually ran him over that's a separate case that that person has to deal with uh because they're actually the one who killed that person um so i i don't know but i know that there's i have no criminal charges i have no nothing um against me there's just fines and stuff that you have to go through the legal process but i've already had court i've already went through it and that's why i'm out because they deemed that we're actually both at fault uh, i was just changing lanes at the same time and because thank god there was that one witness that saw him driving illegally otherwise who knows who knows 
where I would be or what the police would have actually believed. Um, it's really hard being here and not speaking the language. Uh, it, was, it was the scariest thing ever. Um, so let's just all um, pray for this person's family because no matter what, um, they're not alive anymore. And uh, that's really the most important part about all of this. Taking our clothes off and flexing muscles, if that's my profession or not, it's its really just meaningless right now. Um, but I just want everyone to know I'm okay. Um, thanks to the people that helped me on the inside. Um, but I just wanted to get the truth out. I'm gonna spend some time with my family um, and get off my phone. Maybe I'll post some pictures of what I was looking like. Uh, the next few days because I was doing really well. I was really killing it and uh, I was really excited to make a comeback and, and show all the hard work that I had done. Um, but honestly, the only reason I'm out is because my family worked day in and day out nonstop. They didn't sleep or eat. They literally called every day and killed it. Between the two lawyers I had and the American embassy, they did more. They're the only reason I'm out. And, uh, I, I'm so thankful that I have the family that I do and so thankful that they had just moved here because there's not much they would have been able to do from the States. Um, but yeah, so that's really what happened really was just a, a simple, small fender bender. But unfortunately it just happened. The timing was, was, was horrible. Um, thanks to everyone. Uh, when I turned my phone on after I got out, it, it, it blew up. Uh, and I appreciate everyone who's messaged me. I'm going to get back to everybody. Uh, it means a lot. Everyone who's messaged my family every day, trying to see if there's anything they can do to help. This honestly is just part of uh, the UAE's policy. It just takes time. It's not like they did anything wrong. Uh, it's not like anyone did anything wrong. Um, it's just there's so many people waiting in line for their issues, some even smaller issues than mine. Um, so, but that's that's what happened. And unfortunately, now I have to live with that forever um, and seeing that. Um, so thanks again. I'll get back to everybody and um, stay safe.